Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back, welcome to, if it's your first time here, my name is Alexis. Um, dang, I need some gas. All right, so, today's currently Tuesday. And I'm actually, oh my gosh, they got the road clothes. Rolling out of my, um, Driveway because I am headed to uh, the gym. Oh, they fixing the power lines this morning. I haven't been to the gym in like almost a week, probably a week. So it's time to like get in that thing, like for real, for real. About it this morning, I have a clear mind. I'm about to just go and get some workout in, and I'm excited about it. It's Tuesday. Um, I'm actually off to off work today, so later when I get back, if I have time, I have to be at a wedding at 10. Well, I have to leave here, my house at 10 o'clock for the wedding. I mean, for the wedding, Alexis, for a funeral. I have to leave uh, my house at 10 o'clock. I hate when I don't have any earrings on. Um, oh, I look like a little boy when I don't have no earrings on. Um... You have to leave my house at like 10 o'clock. Oh, it's 10 o'clock for the funeral. And then I need to record like two videos today. So there's like a lot for me to do. Because I want to get them done today and try to just knock them out since I'm off. So I don't have to like worry about like having to try to film them. Like having to try to film them. And if I compare this video, like this vlog that I'm doing with those two videos i have my videos for the week so it's like yes uh, let's just get it done today let's get it done so i'm really planning on getting that done today mm. anyway yeah so i'm headed to the gym about to get some work out in so i don't know if i told you guys i booked a trip to go to cabo um it's in October, right? But you know, like, when you're working out, October is, like, around the corner because your body needs time to transform. Like, for those people that think, well, I was one of those people, they could just, like, detox and, like, be real skinny before, like, the, like the month before something negative. Your body does not work like that. And so, I want my body to be nice, nice, nice. So, I need to start now if that is my goal and um get that underway first because if i don't then i'm just gonna be like it's just gonna be i'm just gonna be big again <laughs> going to get a vacation and i really want to be able to be feel comfortable like i know it's like a woman thing where we feel very self-conscious uh when we go out of town but like I be feeling so self-conscious sometimes because like if I, I don't like feel good in my illnesses that like I'll just it'll just kill the whole trip for me like mentally like outside everybody think I'm fine mentally I'm like all messed up in the head because I just be feeling like so big and like I have bathing on and I want to keep them on I just want to put regular clothes on it's honestly not the way to feel so I feel like I want to work on my body from here on now I know what my biggest issue is if we're just talking like getting your mind right your body right uh is eating too much so i'm really practicing on that this week is my eating because i eat too much like i eat my three meals per day plus some and i got to stop like maybe having one snack a day this thing is shaking crazy maybe have like one snack a day but like five snacks alexis come on now like I gotta fine tune this um, eating schedule of mine. So yeah, I just wanted to let you in on that. I am gonna head off to the gym and stop rambling and I'll check in with you guys in just a bit. So the gym was a complete success. Sorry if you hear my AC right now because I'm hot and <laughs> I'm hot and I, I need it on. Oh, just for a few minutes. Um, 
Anyway, Jim was a success. Glad I went this morning, even though I'm short on time, because I just needed to like get my thoughts out. And I feel like when I work out, even though I stop a lot because I'm like writing down my thoughts and my notes, it is such therapy for me to like get in there and think. Like I feel like sometimes when I'm at home, I can't even think straight because there's all these things running through my head. But when I go to the gym, I let it all out. Like I can like, it's like I have control over all my thoughts and so I can just like I write them out in my notes I just really really get it out so I use this time for thinking therapy and things like that as you can tell look at my top of my shirt it I am sweating so if you're wondering why I have on a black sweat sweater <laughs> pullover in the freaking hot summer because I feel like it is summer now I'm gonna go ahead and say it's summer um, it's because I want to sweat more and you do that of course with a sweat shirt on like you know how like people be wearing those waist belts you don't even need to wear that if you have a sweat shirt on easy simple um, it just really does help you sweat because it's like that I think it's like cotton material it feels like wool on the inside but it helps you sweat a lot so okay let me get home I'll check in with you guys then um, I'm so dehydrated right now like another thing is when you sweat a lot you like lose a lot of water so like a lot of your bodily I don't know I'm not using the right words anyway when you sweat a lot you then are supposed to be really dehydrated so you put more water into your body I bought this new water bottle at home and can't wait to use it it's super cute super aesthetic and um I'm gonna start drinking out of that more just carrying that with me it's so cute I can't wait to show it to you guys I'll show it to you when I get home if I have time um but yeah it has like times on it where you should drink I'm already behind well technically I'm not because I'm drinking this and I was supposed to drink you think you're supposed to drink every hour throughout the day so yeah hey guys good morning so today is the next day Oh, I don't only have 18 minutes left on this. <laughs> I um, just got back. Well, I just really got out of the shower. But, um, yeah, I just really got out of the shower. I went to the gym this morning to get my little workout in. I didn't get on camera because it was like I did that yesterday. After yesterday, it was just like not. I was just, oh, my hair. It was just not like I was just not in the mood to get back on here just because of everything that was going on. So I didn't. So we're starting fresh today. I'm in a great mood. I feel great. I love, I mean, I'm like feeling fabulous. I need to throw some a little bit of makeup on my face. But I'll do that in just a minute. In just a little bit, I have to leave for work. But before I do, I need to make like my breakfast, prep my lunch, and all those things. And also take all of my vitamins because those things are important. So I'm going to start doing that and I'm just going to let you guys watch me. The way I prep my breakfast, I'm going to go ahead and just do an old video because I actually have a vlog of me doing it. Just not today. Um, I just, every time I film it, I end up not posting that vlog. So I just, I'll just take a portion of that and then include that in here. So yeah, you're going to watch that in just a minute. Um, as you can see, I took my braids down. I'm going to wear my hair today because I just need to wash my hair and I'm just like not in the mood to like I didn't have time to do that this morning of course so I just decided you know what we're just gonna wear this hair this like braid curl today and just go with it you know and once I put a little mascara on and things like that I shouldn't look as bad but <laughs> right now we're looking kind of rough but we're gonna get ourselves together yeah I just want to hop on here and say good morning guys and um yeah just watch me prep my breakfast i've been eating this banana pancake and man it is so good if you're trying to lose weight if you're trying to get your body right you want to you know you want to eat this because it's like it's very filling and when you eat it you're just like it could literally be good till lunch off of this one little small meal you know so i'm going to show you guys how i make it
cooking us some dinner for us tonight. Currently, right now, I am making us some chicken. Let's set the camera right here. I'm making us some chicken to have tonight. They're like chicken tenders. Um, what I'm gonna do is just season them, throw them in the air fryer. And we're gonna do some vegetables with the chicken tenders. I found this at the grocery store. It's by Pick Sweet Farms, and pretty much it's just vegetables in a pan and with potatoes and you just throw it in the oven for like 30 minutes and then you cook you up some dinner real fast i love things that are like already put together especially during the um during this time during dinner time during the week because they're quick they're easy i really don't be feeling like doing all that in the weekday anyway so this is easy for me to get as fast as i can to the couch so, oh, yeah. Right now, I am just seasoning everything. Just added some lemon pepper. Um, gonna add some Mrs. Dash to give it some more flavor. And then I'm do a little bit of paprika because we love paprika. Oh, no more paprika in here. And, oh, here's the paprika. So I found these little jars at um, Ikea. And so now what I do is I buy, instead of buying more jars, I just literally go to the bulk section in the grocery store and get my um, seasonings in bulk. And I just, and I feel like it's so much cheaper than buying those containers because what happens is, a lot of times with the containers is they be overcharging you just for the container and it's like you ain't even paid for the product yet because you're mostly paying for the container if you are trying to figure out how to save money buy your seasonings from like the nuts and like the section where you can weigh things at because it's much much cheaper and blend all those seasonings together and voila you have your chicken that is ready to go in the air fryer. Hey guys, so today is Friday and I just got off work. Whew, right now, we are about to head to some do some little quick shopping. Well, not quick shopping, but like just go head to a few stores real quick. You know, do our little sun, I mean Friday little errand run so we don't have to do it on Saturday um I know I want to go to Crate and Barrel Michael where do you have to go oh he already got his a smoothie let me taste it mmm he got the smoothie the berry mm -hmm. mm, yeah that was good yeah so we're about to head off and do some quick little errands and I want to bring you guys along with us because we're going to one of my favorite stores, Crate and Barrel. I didn't even know they actually have a 15% off that ends on the 25th. So I'm glad I decided to go today because for our registry, when we got married, for, our, for like when we, for our wedding or whatever, we applied, not applied, that's not the right word. We put on our registry um, like a new comforter or like a, a duvet cover. And... I forgot to put the, um, can we head there now? Hmm? To, um, Crate and Barrel. I don't know what you gotta do. That was the main thing, but hmm? that was the main thing. Uh, you were asking me. Yeah, but I was trying to see if you had to go somewhere else, you know? Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, when I, on our registry, I had put like the duvet cover, but I forgot to put the pillowcases. So, and I need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond, which that's why I should have went down Shit. I should have Oh man. I should have went down um Kirby. Yeah, let me just go down this way. So yeah, I didn't put the actual pillowcases in. I now want to change our comforter. So I need the pillowcases to fulfill the whole bedding. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go and I'll have to buy them myself, which I'm fine with. Uh because the comforter was way more expensive than the pillowcases. And they have 15% off today, so get a little discount. 
uh, yeah, I need to change our comfort this weekend. I'm just like over it. It's white. I don't recommend anyone getting white for their bedding. Like they're, if they're going to be sleeping in it every day, I don't recommend it. Like if it's for your guest bed, I feel like it's okay because if it gets dirty, you just wash it, it's fine. Whereas if I have like, if you have a comforter that you sleep on every day and it's white, it's so hard to maintain because nine times out of 10, it's going to get dirty like mine is now. So it's pretty when you look at it, but when it comes to keeping it up, it's like really hard. And then when you have a, if it's big, like ours is a king size, it might do better. It might've done better if it was a queen size, but it's a king size, so it's harder to dry. Like to wash our comforter is literally like a three day process because we have to let it air out and it takes days, you know? So yeah, it's time to change that because I want to get into nice sheet tonight. And yeah, that's it. But other than that, I also wanted to stop by Beth that bed bath and beyond yeah because when i was in new orleans we went to someone's house and they actually had like this oven cover that is like an oven it's like an oven i want to call it like an oven mat and pretty much you put it in your oven and like on like one of the racks and anything you put on in your oven you know like that like might drop to the bottom you will put this in your and in, in there and pretty much it helps keep your oven clean the short answer to it it helps keep your oven clean which in the past when we were living in apartments i used to stay ruining the oven if i would have had something like this then i wouldn't have got it as dirty and now we have like a gas stove so when something drops it literally burns in the oven like you it create it's like if it flames come up like it's a whole process so I want to get this now because one we have a gift card from our registry from our wedding So I was like, oh, I can use that on that because I don't expect it to be any more than like 20 something dollars or whatever And we have a $20 gift card. So I was like, you know what? Let's go use that at Bed Bath & Beyond and let's go to Crate & Barrel and I love home shopping Love 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 home shopping. So I was like, let's do that today to give you get some content in I feel like all I do is go to the gym in these con in these and it's like I want to give you more I want to give you more so I'm gonna give you more today by going inside of a store stores and yeah I don't other than that I don't have anything else to do I thought we needed to go to Whole Foods or something like that yeah I know well, maybe we can stop by Whole Foods today too that way we could just knock that out cuz I just know like we don't be want to go anywhere on Saturdays or Sundays. So it's like, if we don't get it done now, then when are we going to do it, you know? So, yeah, let's just go ahead and run those errands today and get them out the way. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in just a bit when we get to the store. So I don't want to sit on here rambling the whole time. Um, but, yeah, it's Friday. I think when I get home, I'm going to drink me a glass of wine. Looking forward to it. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit, okay? All right, so here is the oven liner that, well, it wasn't the exact one that I have found, something like it, but pretty much it's just gonna help everything, like anything that falls at the bottom of your oven is gonna catch it, which I need this because during the holidays when I cook, it's just everything falls to the bottom on like a regular day, like things can just fall to the bottom. And no one likes to clean the oven, so I was like, you know, this is appropriate. Just put my little gift card on, because you will never know that you need this until you need it. So it's like, yeah, this is it. I'll show you how it looks opened up when I get home. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away. What if I told you this love won't be easy? still be We found some pasta. We found some pasta sauce for tonight. Give me some sanitizer, please. We found some sa we found some sanitizer. We found some pasta sauce for tonight, and we also found some pretzels, like some mustard pretzels that 
literally for I, how long have we been looking for mustard pretzels a very long time like it was one time a long time ago we had found them in where did you find them in whole foods no uh, it was uh, <laughs> i forget the name of it i think was it, it sprouts no uh, it was like central market it was like another version of central oh market. yeah 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 and you found those we never found them again so they closed on like, a lot of yeah so we found these they're called by Fit Joy, they're called Tangy Dijon mustard pretzels. They're grain free, vegan, allergen friendly, blah blah blah. And so, these are them. I want to go ahead and taste them because that's how long I have been waiting on mustard pretzels. So, we only got two bags, we should have got more. Yep. Put them up. That's a weekend snack. We should have got more. Mm. Delish. Oh my god. So good. So now we're headed to Crane Barrel. Hopefully there's not any traffic because I think there's a part of the freeway that's shut down right now. So we gotta watch how we move because nobody's trying to get stuck in traffic. We're trying to be in and out this thing. Because I literally know what I want from Great Barrel. Um, I just, oh, you know what I also need to look for is a base, but a base at Great Barrel can gonna be left pricey. So I might have to go to like a Ross or something to find it, but I doubt they have it. Probably like Hobby Lobby would probably have it. Cause I just need like a clear one. But we'll see when we get there. I Is this real? Will you still be here? If I say how I feel, I don't wanna wait that one day and see you gone. Will you still be here? Will you still be here? the little oven thing that I picked up. Um, this is like the oven cover that I was looking for in Bed Bath & Beyond. Let me feel like I need to zoom y'all out. Okay, there we go. You're zoomed out. So it's just, it's just supposed to sit on your bottom rack in the oven and it's just really supposed to catch everything that um, falls out of your oven. And that's why I got it because like I said, I hate cleaning the bottom of the oven because I hate cleaning the bottom of the oven and I feel like it gets so dirty so fast. But if I have this now, it can stay in no matter what I'm cooking and it will uh, catch all of the, you know, things that fall on it and I can just rinse this off and then reuse it. So for tonight for dinner, I am making some pasta. I already have my meat sauce here, waiting on my noodles. And this is what we're gonna eat tonight for dinner. I wish I had some garlic bread, but you know what? That's not healthy, so we're just not gonna do that. But. Yeah, this is what we're eating tonight for dinner. I'm trying more and more and more to um, cook from home because you know what? We're going out to eat tomorrow night. Look how just a mess I look. We're going out to eat tomorrow night at Nobu and you know that's going to be expensive if you've ever been to Nobu. I've never been, but I've heard it's super expensive. So I'm like, 
in general we're trying to cut back on like spending money on groceries because a lot of time what will happen is the week will be over and we have not yet eaten even half of the groceries we have and so it's like just time to cut back overall and that's what we're gonna do i don't even know what i'm gonna wear tomorrow i'm still contemplating on like the vibe i'm going for i really want to wear jeans but the jeans i'm wearing i want to wear will cause me to have to wear high heels and really didn't feel like wearing high heels i really wanted to pop out in these little bad boys because oh they're so comfortable and the heel is very short but i don't know i just don't know the vibe i just don't know the vibe that I'm gonna be feeling tomorrow. And plus, I need to do my hair before there's any vibe that's being felt. So like if I don't get my hair done or like do my hair, which I have to do, um, then I'm not gonna feel, you know, cute. So yeah, that's tomorrow's problem. Cause today, you know, today I'm about to chill and just eat some dinner and relax not doing my hair today maybe i'll get up early in the morning to do it i feel like me with hair it's like if i get up early take care of it then i'll like actually do it i really want to put some braids in my head but then that's a whole nother feeling because <laughs> braids are like ugh, do take a while but maybe i'll do like some box braids but do like very like large ones i don't know if i do it you will see it so yeah um i'm gonna chill for the rest of the night like literally nothing is gonna happen deciding if i want to pop out the hookah because a girl wants some hookah tonight but sometimes like the hookah be tripping like sometimes it'd be good and sometimes it'd be tripping i don't know i think i want some hookah though yeah let me go set up my hookah i feel like friday nights for me why is it blurry Friday nights for me are like the best time to have hookah, have me a drink, and wine. I've been very tense this week, so it's time for me to unwind. I'm going to pull out my big hookah. Not the travel hookah. I'm going to pull out the big hookah today because your girl needs it. Your girl needs There's it. There's a ton of stuff to do this today, and I don't want to... Of course, my computer is it. Um, There's a ton of things to do today, and I want to be able to have some relaxation time before... Go to Nobu today. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because me and Michael just decided last night that we're gonna go to the uh, car dealership to see if um, we could trade my car in because supposedly it's supposed to be a really good time right now with everything that's going on to trading your car because they're giving good value on your trade-in so i don't know we're gonna see if you know if that's gonna work for me i was thinking today i would like box braid my hair and like some medium large not large yeah maybe large but not jumbo or maybe medium large something like that um box braids because i'm tired of changing my hair so quickly and I just need it to be away for like a month, you know, a month. So I don't have to keep doing it. Like it's annoying having to keep doing your hair. And I see why people stay in braids. Cause it's like, man, it's, it's a hassle. Like every weekend trying to figure out something to do with your hair. No. 10 out of 10 don't recommend. It's too much. So I'm trying to get it in a style to where I don't have to worry about it because it's a lot of stuff I need to do. And one thing I can say is that when you have to do a lot of stuff, one thing that you don't like doing is putting on a lash. You already don't want to put on makeup. Putting on a lash and doing your hair. So it's like, a, I think I'm going to do try to do if I have time individuals on myself. Because um, again, that's another thing that keeps me from like getting to what I need to do because I gotta like prep, you know? So hopefully mm -hmm. I have time to do that. Um, this morning, um, it's 5.55. I'm gonna end this video really, really, really quickly because it's not long at all. Get this video up this morning and then turn around and um, go do, wash my hair, blow dry my hair, box braid my hair. Then try to get, put me some lashes on go to the dealership. I had an appointment today to actually do someone else's lashes. Don't know if that's going to happen today with us going to the dealership, but it's okay because I could just postpone that tomorrow. 
and then um what else do I have to do? And then um tonight at our dinner reservation is for 8 15 and no boo so it's like one full day. We come around right to the block and we start feeling ourselves. And Shawty tricking me, and she knows she's feeling herself. I got my hands up on the way, you know I'm praying to God. I think that she can't really see that I don't do this for you. Gotta do it, cause you know that's all that I got. I push a limit, and you know I drive at the top. And she made me go around like it's the end of the world. I tell her lies, I know I never fall. So the plans have changed right now I am currently in my bathroom you see I have my hair slicked back because girl I was trying to do those braids and I guess I just like have not been in the mood to like do something so long term on me so I just took the braids out slicked my hair back later when we go to dinner I'm gonna add a braided ponytail onto this and then we're gonna be good so it's getting a little late so we decided to go ahead and head out to the dealership because it's like you know he gets busy and so i just want to get in get out see what the results gonna be again very optimistic don't know what's gonna happen but open and you know we're just gonna go with it we're gonna stop and get the car wash first to clean it up a little bit and then you know if it doesn't work out we're just gonna go to the grocery store <laughs> like yeah just staying very open about it um, I'm gonna show you guys what I have on really quickly because it's I love today's outfit because it's super duper comfortable. So really quick, I have on this bodysuit um, from my uh, boutique. It is a jumpsuit. I wish I could stand up and show you guys, but here are my shoes. I'm wearing these little Nike little sh hippie shoes, and then I have on the jumpsuit with some like gold pieces and some earrings and hair slicked back. I literally did my brows in like five minutes, so, and I'm actually impressed as to how good they look. Um, yeah, so let's get out of here. It's getting late, like I said. Um, haven't eaten anything this morning, but that's okay, because we need to get on the road. Oh Lord. I still have my 2.30 appointment with um, the girl I'm gonna do her lashes, so, you know, we should be back before then, but we shall see. Oh, Lord. Zoom out. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Because um, I keep saying it's getting late. Oh, yeah. And I'm carrying this bag today because, you know, you got to go in there real bossy. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Right now, the dealership didn't go as, you know, as we thought it would go, which is fine because we had no expectations about going. So I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> but it was good to go and see like 
the new cars they have because the car that we actually went to look at sorry the car that we actually went to look at uh like went to view i actually had never seen it before so it was good to see that car and that actually i could see that being my next car because it's like very spacious we were looking at the gl 350 glb 350 and it's actually very 250 i can't say 350 um yeah glb 350 250 and it was like very spacious when i could see myself driving i don't get the other car i want <laughs> but right now sorry i'm eating we are in the car eating water burger because we're starving and we're actually sitting outside of the grocery store so as soon as we finish here eating we're gonna go inside the grocery store do our grocery shopping and then go back home i'm actually kind of tired i do lashes though but i might be able to give me a little nap in before well, hopefully we can do this fast and then head back to back home I'm gonna stop eating on camera and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. <laughs> so, let me turn this off. So I just finished my lashes. Um, my eyes are still watering right now. That's just what happens when you do your lashes yourself because the glue is still drying. I just quickly wanted to show you my outfit for tonight. Why does it feel like I'm so zoomed in? All right, I have to start breathing hard. But um, yeah, so I have these Zara jeans on with this bodysuit from Pretty Little Things. Can you see it? And then for shoes, I have Bottegas. And then I have my bag here, um, my Giacomo's bag and things like that. So this is my outfit for tonight. Feeling really cute and comfy. Sorry, I got my phone there. Super ugly, but yeah, I'm feeling this whole entire look casual but still super duper cute you know you feel me but you be turning at me oh yeah you do yeah we have that too right uh, about the, uh i like the way it's supposed to be oh you scream skin on me skin on me i wish i could tell you what you want so I do not get good lighting on that side. Oh, so different. So good morning. I'm just waking up. Um, I'm tired. I think I'm just tired from the week, not even from last night, because we didn't even do much last night. But I'm tired. Anyway, I'm about to get ready and make us some pancakes this morning because it's just like Sundays are meant for pancakes, you know? I just feel like it's only right. I gotta use two boxes. I'm using Unjamama and then I'm using this other one because we don't have any more of the Unjamama. And literally, I'm not going to buy anything. We're gonna use what we have here, so. Hopefully they only need the same ingredients. So yeah, which looks like they do. And so we should be good. Mm, these are just, one is just whole grain. These are just whole grain. And the other ones are regular, but it's fine, it's fine. Ooh, I don't think we need that much, but. Okay. I think I need an egg. Probably need to use two. I think I use too much mix.
right guys so i just wanted to share with you guys really quickly as to how the new bedding looks that i picked up um the other day so again we got this in our registry but then the pillowcases are what i picked up on um friday um excuse them i need to actually um i should have ironed them but who wants to do that i mean i, mean, I guess eventually i can iron them <laughs> to make them look neater but i feel like the wrinkles will fall out eventually i just wanted to kind of show you the color pattern we have going on here we have some new lamps over there which we did get on our registry as well too and then these curtains as well i feel like the whole room is just starting to come together excuse all that stuff over there that's michael's little side and he keeps a ton of things but yeah it doesn't actually have those lines in it it literally those are just wrinkles but look how much better the bed looks like i feel like this is better for like everyday living having a bed color like this especially if you want to stay neutral like this is like kind of where you want to be at because white just does not work long term so yeah we have a lot coming together here i think i may put something here like now that everything's coming together i think something would look really nice right in between these windows i just don't know what it's gonna be but i literally just thought about that from looking at this point of view right here so next thing that i want to work on is finding something for that space and then i mean the room should be pretty much complete um because right behind us is like our dog stuff so we can't really do much with that but yeah loving how this is turning out and i am very happy that everything just is like neutral creams and things like that 